Carolina Panthers fans have our prayers answered finally as the team elects to sign a pass rusher in veteran outside linebacker Justin Houston. So in this video, we're going to go over the details of this acquisition. I'm going to give you my thoughts and reactions to all of that stuff. And we're going to get into all of that right after this. From the foe, you dig? Welcome to The Way I See It with Jamari Rashad. This is a Carolina Panthers fan channel. Please do me a favor by hitting the like button and please make sure you subscribe as I am on my road to 3K. Trying to make sure my channel continues to grow before these games get started very, very soon. Now that that's all out of the way, let's go ahead and get to this report. Now, if you, if you have not heard, my Carolina Panthers have signed veteran outside linebacker Justin Houston to a one-year deal who will come in and sure up a much-needed spot on that defensive line at that, uh, at that pass rusher position opposite of Brian Burns. So for those who are not aware of just how, uh, just who Justin Houston is or just how impactful he has been over his 12 year career, we're going to go ahead and take a look at just how good this guy has been. So over his 12 year career, he has been a four time pro bowler, a one time all pro, and he has amassed 506 tackles and also 111 and a, 111 and a half sacks. Now, many people may think that once a guy gets to age 30, especially at this edge rusher, at this edge rusher position, that is when guys tend to start to tail off. But the great ones find a way to uh to transition their game into uh into less athleticism more playing with their mind playing uh playing with their knowledge playing with the experience that they've acquired and that is what Justin Houston began to do as the uh as he turned 30 and entered the latter part of his career after the Kansas City Chiefs who he spent the first eight years of his career with, elected to let him go in the offseason of 2019. Frank Reich and the Indianapolis Colts paid Justin Houston to come over, and that is when his uh, and that is when his career and his uh, and his uh, position be uh, began to materialize into something a little bit less than it was before, but something more suited to what uh, his skill set and his um, you know his tangible ability of, um, allows. Uh, today. So since then, he has been more so of a uh, full-time pass rusher as opposed to a more traditional linebacker, which he's always been a very effective um, pass rusher, uh, having the second most sack, uh, having the second most sacks in a single season with 22, only behind T.J. Watt and Michael Strahan with 22 and a half. This guy has showed his pass rush prowess throughout his entire career, but it was continued to, but it continued to be on display last year. Year in 2022 when he played for the Baltimore Ravens at the age of 33 years old in 2022 Justin Houston had 21 tackles nine and a half sacks 17 QB hits he pressured the quarterback 25 times he had seven tackles for loss he forced a fumble and he also had an interception now that sounds like a guy that is constantly on the field constantly being disruptive if, if a guy's able to put up sacks like that right well wrong as I mentioned he is in the latter part of his career so he does not see the field as often as he did earlier in his career he played in four games but he only started in one he played 397 snaps which was 44 percent less than half of the snaps that were available to him in the games that he was available for but he still was able to be that treacherous uh to the two offensive lines and to opposing quarterbacks in a uh, in limited snaps so that should give you just a uh, little peek behind the curtain as to just how impactful Justin Houston is even at an advanced age so when it comes to to my reaction when I first saw this news the first thing I thought was thank God but also the universe has a very funny way of picking on certain people and I believe Yitor Gross Matos is just one of those people I myself and just about every other Panthers fan I've ever ran into communicated with over social media just bashes 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 and talks all type of trash about this guy because he has just not been a good pass rusher whatsoever three years into the league he seems as though he has regressed from what we thought 
thought was a promising rookie season to be somewhat just like a body, just a guy out there. So earlier today, he spoke to the media following training camp and he uh, he he acknowledged that he's aware of just how much um, Panthers fans have a disdain for him. He knows that the uh, the current wish at the time earlier today was that uh, for uh, for uh, Carolina Panthers fans was we wanted another pass rusher. Why? Because we simply don't think that he's good enough. Well, fast forward a few hours from there, the uh, the brass and the higher up Scott Fitterer and whoever else makes these decisions calls in Justin Houston, signs him to a one year deal, and pretty much you know validates everything that we as Panthers fans were saying. And man, that's just that's just kind of messed up because it's it's just funny how the universe works, and it's funny that the universe picks on certain people, man. But like. If you look at the numbers on your screen, you would just see why it is so laughable to me or why me and other Panthers fans are so angry with Yitor Gross Matos. The, um, the age difference between these two guys is nine years. That is an enti- nearly an entire decade, an entire career. for that. That's more than an entire career for most guys that hit the NFL. And at 34 years of age, he was able to outdo Yitor Gross Matos in just about every single stat except for sacks. I mean, except uh, except for um, tackles, and he played less than half as many uh, as less than half as many um, of the snaps. So I don't know if this is more of a um, of a a congratulations to Justin Houston or just showing how you know just how ashy Torgros Matos has been. But either way, I'm thankful that we are going to have this potential upgrade waiting in the wings. No matter how old he is, he is going to be. A, uh, a upgrade no matter what man but um other than that um my reactions my thoughts first of all I think that um although as I mentioned and all the things that I just detailed with uh, Justin Houston simply being better than Yitor Gross Matos being way more suited for this 3-4 defense I think as of right now Yitor Gross Matos probably is still going to be penciled in as the starter uh, Justin Houston is definitely going to be a situational uh, specialist, uh, specifically on third down. I can see him coming in and wreaking a lot of havoc, but I cannot see his snap count increasing at age 35, potentially being uh, at age 34, potentially being 35 years old by the end of the season. I don't think that his role will increase, but I think that his role will be very significant, as I mentioned, in those spots. But Yitor Gross Matos is still going to be penciled in at, as the starter. But what this also does is make me think that all, uh, although I just mentioned, and I'm, I know I kind of go back on things that I mentioned, but it's all it's it's building here. Yito Gross Matos is still going to be the starter, but I do think that, as I mentioned, uh, Justin Houston being the situational guy, this opens up the opportunity for um, that spot opposite of Burns not to be pen- like four gross models to be penciled in as a starter but for those early down and distance plays I think that opens up the playbook for depending on the situation for there to be a myriad of guys that actually come in and play opposite of Burns not just Yitor gross models I think that uh, Houston being the the solidified third down guy as I mentioned with whatever down and distance comes into play Ejiro Evero will be able to throw Marquis Haynes out there, play DJ Johnson in whatever particular situations he thinks that the rookie could uh, could play well in, and is, and he could also use Amore Barno. So I don't, although uh, Yuto Gross Matos will be out there for a significant number of snaps, I do think that that it will be less than it was than it was last year, and I think that those other three guys will get significantly uh, significantly more snaps than they did last year, and just a significant number of snaps overall in the case of DJ Johnson who hasn't played before. But um, outside of that, man, my final thoughts uh, on this acquisition uh, is at this stage of free agency, this is pretty much as good as it gets. I think Justin Houston is definitely a good acquisition, a plus for this team, but I do still think we need more. Unfortunately, I, I hate to I hate to kill the you know kill the move for anybody that that does that for. I still wish that throughout free agency we would have been able to find an established starting guy opposite of Brian Burns. 
But as I sit here right now, I don't know how Ajiro Everold plans to use the likes of a guy like Frankie Louvu after acquiring uh, acquiring De uh, Deion Jones just a week ago to be a to be an outside linebacker. Louvu could potentially be a guy rushing the quarterback who in this system could see 10 plus sacks uh, getting seven last year in a, a, a less than stellar uh, defensive scheme. So, you know, those questions are still up in the air. But in my opinion, I still wish that we would have just gotten a guy that we know would have been down, uh, down in down, down, down after down would have just been the guy, man. But with that being said, what do you all think? about this acquisition of Justin Houston. I'm really happy that we got a guy that can come in and be a specialist, but I still think at the end of the day we do think uh, that we do need a little bit more, man. But whatever you all think about this sign and leave your comments down in the comment section and I will be sure to chop it up with you there. But until next time, I am Jamario Rashad. This is the way I see it and I'm out. Peace.